On this AQHA Racing Challenge update, you get an up-close look at Canterbury Park's regional challenges. Plus, we take you to Alberta, Idaho, Mexico City, and New Mexico. We'll catch you up on the qualifiers next. This is the AQHA Racing Challenge update. Powered by American Quarter Horse Association. Hello and welcome to the second edition of the AQHA Racing Challenge Update. I'm Jim Byers. For this installment, we've come to Canterbury Park in Shakopee, Minnesota, host of regionals in three of the five divisions in the Bank of America Racing Challenge Series. Regional qualifying season is well underway. With the winners of these races, and in some cases other finishers, gaining spots in the graded final of their division. This year all the finals are at the Downs in Albuquerque on October 26th. Here at Canterbury Park, the races were on July 7th. Let's get started with the ARC Canterbury Park Distaff Challenge, Phillies and Mares at 400 yards. Note the start for number 8, Curl's Happy Wagon, the odds on favorites. Stumble can't stop Curl's Happy Wagon from accelerating away from this group and securing a spot in the Grade 1 Arc Distaff Final under Jorge Torres. Curl's Happy Wagon is an Oklahoma bred, racing for her breeders Michael Toll and Martin Stacy. The trainer is Stacy Charette Hill. The Polar Vortex and Mutana's Lafon ran second and third. Like the Distaff Division, the qualifying races for two year olds are just getting started. The third of those was at Hipódromo de las Américas in Mexico City. These two-year-olds go 350 yards in the John Deere Hipódromo Juvenile Challenge. She's an Indiana bred by PYC Painter Wagon. From a seven-year-old Texas bred mare, Maybellina romps here in gate-to-wire fashion under Israel Dominguez. Maybellina earns a spot in the grade two final of this division for owner Rancho RH and trainer Jose Alfredo Rivera Hernandez. Guest Eagles Girl and Tempting Dude were next. If I could tell my horse one thing, I would tell her you're my daughter's BFF. You are her quiet time, her free time. I love the way she looks in your eyes and kisses on you every day. She's learned that you are more than just an animal. You are her everything. You hold her heart, and you hold mine when you hold her. Last year, the Attaquan Ruidoso Downs Derby Challenge saw the first five finishers come back for the Grade 3 final at Los Alamitos, including the eventual first two finishers in the final, Corona Ranger and Mia Moore Secreto. This year's edition at Ruidoso was on June 29th. It remains to be seen how productive this year's regional is, but Valiant Tiberius keeps his 2019 record perfect at 4 for 4 with a convincing win over Fast Gold Prize and Conquering Marie. Valiant Tiberius chased by Fast Gold Prize, Conquering Marie, then chasing Valiant. It's Valiant Tiberius. The development for Valiant Tiberius from age 2 to 3 has been significant. He's blossomed as a sophomore and is now trained by Ricardo Armanderas. James Flores aboard. The winner is an Oklahoma bred, owned by Sergio Ogin, Clifton Nielsen, and Felix Rodriguez. To Mexico City for the Atacuani Podromo Derby Challenge. There's a familiar pedigree to this drawing out winner, Reacher 16. She's an Oklahoma bred half sister to 2018 All American Futurity finalist and Remington Park Futurity winner, Linder 16. Reacher 16 speeds clear under Martin Hernandez, defeating Carter's Calix and Coronado Amber. Jose Eduardo Baltazar Carmona is the trainer for Quadra Victoria MC. Leapfrogging the U.S., we go to northern Alberta for the Atacuan Evergreen Park Derby Challenge. Number four, Get It Hot, leads virtually gate to wire under Ricardo Moreno to hold on by a half length over Papa's Colleen and Chase at Harm. A California bred filly and winner of the All Canadian Derby in June. Get It Hot is owned by Charles Stojan and trained by William Leach. For horses based in Western Canada, Evergreen Park in Grand Prairie, Alberta, offers regionals in all five of the divisions. 
Last year in the Evergreen Park Distance Challenge, the old-timer Glittering Blue was a winner and made the trek all the way to Los Alamitos for the Grade 1 final. This year's Evergreen Distance Challenge was part of a multi-stakes program in late July. And the now 11-year-old Glittering Blue was back for another try, but is relegated to chasing a match race between Gone to be Bright on the outside and CR Cruising for Chicks. Once again, it's jockey Ricardo Moreno in the irons as Gone to be Bright refuses to let CR Cruising for Chicks get by. Glittering Blue is third. Fred in Alberta. Gone to be Bright races for the Gone to the Bright Side Syndicate. Once again, William Leach is the trainer. Speaking of match races, here's a dandy in the Canterbury Park Distance Challenge. Number one, American Hat, opens a long lead, but the recently stretched out Bout Tree Fitty, who qualified for the 2018 Bank of America Challenge Championship, took aim. They're chasing American Hat and Jorge Torres. He's still riding this one very confidently. In second is Bouttry Fitty, way back to Edelman in third. It's American Hat from Bouttry Fitty. American Hat desperately holding on. Bouttry Fitty trying to win two in a row. American Hat. At the end, they're inseparable. And dead heat six lengths clear of Edelman. American Hat is owned by Buckway Ranch and trained by Stacy Charette Hill, Jorge Torres, the jockey. Bout Tree Fitty is owned by trainer Pat Swan and Rusty Allred, Nick Goodwin aboard. Both horses don't automatically qualify for the final. The first tiebreaker is the most challenge money earned from January 1st through the last regional qualifier. The host of the 2019 BOA Championships has a grade three distance challenge of its own. The Downs at Albuquerque Distance Regional turned into a showcase for Let There Be Sound, who guns for the lead from the outside and opens up. Let There Be Sound, still leading by two. In second, Madewell Rockabilly flattening. It's going to be Let There Be Sound. He's going to go all the way. Under Gilbert Ortiz, Let There Be Sound leaves Madewell and Rockabilly in his wake, as well as 2017 AQHA Distance Championship winner Zoom and Racer. An Iowa bred from the John Steinbow State, Let There Be Sound is owned by Lewis and Corinne Howard. If I could tell my horse one thing, you show me what it is to dream, and because of you, I've known what it's like to realize those dreams. You gave me the confidence to see I was capable of the best, and you proved to me that hard work really does pay off. You're not just my horse. You're my family. I may hold the reins, but you hold my heart. The Bank of America Challenge Championship is a grade one test at 440 yards. Considering its impressive roster of winners, it's no surprise that the BOA Championship has the largest purse of the finals. Horses from the Inner Mountain West had a chance to make the BOA Championship in a regional at Sandy Downs in Idaho. Number five, wagon full of dividends, the post-time favorite. Lacks early speed and encounters trouble later to lose for just the second time in 11 career starts. As for the winner, Cool Odds is a hard-knocking Calbred based in the Inner Mountain region, trained by Mark Hansen for Hansen Racing and Robin Dunn. Nakia Ramirez aboard here. Time for Jesse Lee was second, with JT Easy Bug third. Recent runnings of the BOA Canterbury Park Championship Challenge have attracted, among others, eventual championship winner AJ's High. This year's edition featured a newcomer to the challenge program, PYC Just Bite My Dust. The nine's firing on the outside, PYC Just Bite My Dust, and Hawkeye in a tight, tight photo. PYC Just Bite My Dust rallies on the outside, and at the finish nips Hawkeye by a head under Christian Escada. PYC Just Bite My Dust is a Minnesota bred, trained by Jason Olmsted for owner breeder Lunderborg LLC. Hawkeye and Quick Dash and Perry were next under the wire. The AQHA Racing Challenge Update, powered by American Quarter Horse Association. 
on our next edition of the show, we'll be on location again at Los Alamitos in Cypress, California for a pair of grade three challenge races, in the ARC Distaff and the BOA Los Alamitos Championship Challenge. Last year, those races were won by the eventual winners on their home tracks, One Sweet Racy and BH Lisa's Boy. At Canterbury Park in Shakopee, Minnesota, I'm Jim Byers. Thanks for watching. Look for us next time here on the AQHA Racing Challenge Update.